Hey Water Signs and welcome to my channel. We are doing your daily love reading for the Dece for December 17th, 2018. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This will not fit with everybody, so take what fits, leave what don't, and have fun. Have fun with it. Don't take these too seriously. Okay. All right, your first card out is death. Second card out is the Six of Swords. Third card out is the King of Pentacles in reverse. The person you are dealing with has the Six of Cups in reverse. The Magician in reverse. And the Ace of Cups in reverse. Your guys' outcome for the day is the Emperor. The Moon in reverse. And the star in reverse. Your guys' overall energy and shared energy between the two is the Three of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the uh, Two of Cups, both in reverse. Strength is at the bottom of your deck, um, followed by the Four of Wands in reverse and the Five of Cups. So um, remain strong. You guys are dealing with some tough energy today. It could be a broken relationship. Um, that you are um, depressed over, mourning over, you feel like uh, your prayers aren't being answered. So just stay strong, have strength. Um, today is always a new day. Tomorrow is another chance to <clears throat> start over, start fresh. So don't hold on to this heavy energy too long. You are dealing with something that broke your heart. Um, and this doesn't have to be a third party situation. Uh, it can just be something that truly broke your heart. You're sad. Uh, something happened between you and your partner that, uh, that really broke your heart. You could have been hoping to hear from this person and they didn't get a hold of you like they were supposed to. So now you're sad. Um, there's, there's many reasons to be sad other than third parties. Cause for this group of you, I don't feel this is a third party situation. Um, this does, however, have to do with a soulmate that you are waiting on and you didn't hear from them. Um, you have the death card here. So leaving behind old situations and the next card out is the six of swords. So you're moving, <clears throat> excuse me, you're moving on from something. You are having a spiritual awakening, a spiritual rebirth, and you are realizing that you have to let something go. And if you set it free and it returns to you, you know, it's meant to be. So you are at that spot right now. You are moving on from um, something in your past that you are releasing. Um, it's been rough. It's been tough. And it, you can't take it anymore. You have to move forward for yourself. You have to move into something of uh, smoother waters, something that is less emotionally um, hard. And you're going to uh, move forward and heal from all these sorts that you have been dealing with. Your thoughts... Um, other people's actions towards you. And uh, this person, this connection has really made you feel unstable. You usually are confident. You usually move forward um, with, you know, full steam ahead, not doubting yourself. You guys are feeling, um, you're being filled with self-doubt. You're, um, this is making you feel really insecure, unstable financially. This could have broke your heart. Somebody could have financially um, caused some damage in leaving this situation. You could be dealing with an earth sign as well. Um, Scorpio is here. Gemini. So um, the person you are dealing with, they, uh, they could have been somebody you knew of for a long time. This could be um, a mother or father of your children, but this is somebody that you thought was a soulmate or they thought you were a soulmate. And, um, and now they're second guessing themselves. There was some, uh, mind games here. Somebody, um, was using the tools that they have learned over the years, but they were using them to manipulate somebody to make them think things that weren't going on were happening. Could be a strong, uh, Virgo or Capricorn here with the two earth sign cards, but this person really was using their, their tools for, for not good. Um, yeah, this is also somebody that lacks self-esteem as well. Um, but they're not wanting to move forward and emotionally give this a second shot. Um, you were hoping for this, and that's why 
the, the heartbreak is here. Like I said, I don't think it's a third party. I just honestly think that they don't want to emotionally invest in this relationship anymore. Um, there was a lot of head games involved in this water science. Your guys' outcome, you are going to come out on top. By you leaving this relationship, this emotionally damaging um, situation that was full of hurt and chaos, you are going to come out on top because you are going to move forward. You are purging out the ones that don't belong, no matter how hard it is to do, no matter how much it breaks your heart. You know that this is what needs to happen in order for you to move into the path you're meant to be. You are going to become very strong, very uh, confident again. Uh, leading yourself with self-confidence, with just with your head held high. Um, you are going to have to heal. This is, a, this is a card of healing. You see she's pouring one cup out on land, one cup out in the water, and there's nothing to reciprocate it back to her. So this is um, calling for some healing that needs to be done for all the energy that you put forth into this relationship without getting back. And when you do that, you will come out ahead. You will come out on top. Um, secrets came out and this is what needs to be healed from. This is what broke your heart. And this is really what is pushing you in the right direction. This had to happen in order for you to heal from this in order for you to become this. So like they say, everything happens for a reason. All of this, um, all this pain that you have dealt with in the past is only making you stronger and it's pushing you into the path that you're meant to be. This is divine timing also. So when you heal from these wounds that you have uh, experienced, then divine timing will flip in the upright and that who is meant to be in your path, that is who, the person you're meant to be with, your soulmate, that is when they will come in after you regain your energy, your strength, and, and raise your vibration back up to the awesomeness that you are. That is when the right person will come in for you, water signs. Today is some heavy energy, but you know that you have to move forward in order for you to be in the path that you're meant to be in. And, uh, and that's when the universe will bring you in new love. So don't hesitate to move on into the path that you are guided to take. You are being pushed by the universe. You are being led um, by the divine to purge out all that is unnecessary, to purge out all people that do not uh, serve your greatest good. And what's best and greatest for you will come in in the form of a new lover. So keep the faith. Oh, and your next card out was soulmate. So your new love that's coming in for you after you uh, shed that old you and let the spiritual rebirth happen. That new person is your soulmate that is coming in for you, water science. So, um, some tough energy today, but it's unfortunately we have to get through the tough to get to the good. So, um, good things are coming for you, water science. I hope you try to have a positive and blessed day. I send you healing energy, love, light, and God bless.